The Chemical Dependency Center at Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach is one of the foremost facilities in helping chemically dependent adults and their families understand the disease of addiction. We hear from the center's medical director, Dr. Stephen I, about the program. We are commonly asked, is addiction a disease? And we believe it is a disease, and we like to characterize it in relation to other chronic diseases such as diabetes. And diabetes, for example, has a component that is genetically predetermined. Well, so does uh, alcoholism and drug addiction. They're both chronic diseases. They both are diseases that do not have a cure, but they do have effective treatment. And most importantly, with both uh, diseases, there is elements of patient behavior or patient involvement in their own process of recovery or treatment for the disease that are really important if a person's going to be successful. The disease of addiction is really non-discriminatory. It affects people of all races, creeds, colors, religions, and social backgrounds. About 50% of chemical dependency you could describe as genetically predetermined, and about 50% is environmental. That's our best analysis after looking at the data for years and years. So at some level, there is a genetic predisposition for some people, and that's a contributing factor in that person becoming an addict or an alcoholic. The first step in getting help is to actually acknowledge that there really is a problem. And that can be done through visiting with your local physician, seeing someone else that maybe you trust. It could be a psychiatrist or therapist. It can be as simple as just calling the hospital and asking for the chemical dependency center. At Hogue Hospital, for example, we have different levels of care, and it starts with someone entering into our program to detox. Following that detoxification process, which can last anywhere from a few days to maybe even a week or longer, they enter into rehab. Now, that can be inpatient rehab, where they actually continue to be in the hospital. That can be as an outpatient, or that can be in our evening program. So there's different levels of care depending on the severity of the disease and depending on what type of, um, let's say, social situations the patient might need to participate in. At Hogue, one of the things that we're very proud of is our family program. What's the relationship going to be like at home when that family member comes home and is sober? How has it affected the other family members? And it can be not just in the nuclear family, but in the extended family as well. So any family member is invited to participate in our family program. Treatment can last from a, just a detox process, but usually it lasts much longer. And that can be anywhere from a few weeks to a few months in terms of formal treatment. Over the long haul, though, just like with other chronic diseases, treatment really goes on for a lifetime. One of the things we know about alcoholism and drug addiction is that person has lost the ability to control their drinking, or let's say using, of substances. And as a result, they're never going to return to a social way of drinking or you know, social use of some type of street drug or something. And so we want them to be in treatment at some level for their lifetime. Well, it's very exciting to see people enter into recovery and to see them go from a, a life that's really broken into uh, just a magnificent life of recovery.